Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. It is like howling wind and dumping rain. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, but today, uh, we have a bit of a bad idea for you. And I, I've been messing with this bad idea in my head ever since we've talked about it on stream. And I just want to talk it out with you guys because I think it would be funny. I think it would be great. But what happened, or would it be possible even, to counter Halloween Leela by having level 119 units instead of level 120. Let's go ahead and talk about it and dig in, you guys. So this kind of came up on my stream the other day and it's just been in my mind because it's funny, right? Like, could you imagine going into like a Friday Night Fights with Oran? Right, and you're going in with your new Halloween Leela EX, and you're like, I'm gonna kill some people. And the next thing you see is a team of level 119 opponents. Would that work? Would it actually be potentially a way to disrupt Halloween Leela? I mean, it's going to give you some damage reduction, no doubt. No doubt it's going to give you an advantage specifically against Halloween Leela. Uh, potentially against other units in the game like Ildira EX, potentially too. But there's a couple of reasons in the long term of things that this is never going to happen. Uh, first of all, you know, you're only going to be kind of messing up a small modifier on Halloween Leela's attack. So the modifier, if Leela hits you and you're a multiple of the level that she's set to, right, is going to be plus 45% for the level multiple if she hits you. So what does plus 45% mean, right? In terms of raw damage to your character. Well, this is a modifier, right? 45% uh, does have the same equivalence as uh, plus 45 magic attack. Uh, it has the same equivalence as plus 45 wind attack, right? Uh, it just adds on to that modifier damage. And it's only a small part of the actual damage percentage that's coming towards you, right? So little Leela is maybe attacking you, you know, with level four Araga here, right? And it's 165% modifier and it gets plus 45%. Let's say you get that plus 45%, right? So it's a 210% modifier attack coming your way. Actually in the real damage formula, all of the other bonuses are applied into that damage percentage. So you're going to have wind attack up, magic attack up. You're going to have, uh, that might be it actually. Thinking for a second. Okay, man eater potentially, right? Uh, you're gonna have anything that's kind of a modifier onto that damage. So maybe you are actually at 300% damage in total on the incoming attack. If your level is 119 instead of 120, what's actually gonna happen is just 45% of that is gonna go away, right? Because the initial 210% modifier attack plus whatever modifier she has uh, are, they're not multiplicative, they're additive. So in reality, by adjusting your level to 119, you are only really mitigating about a sixth of the incoming damage from Halloween Leela, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, could make a difference, uh, but I think there's other things you should be aware of with this, uh, particularly other abilities, right? Uh, for example, height three holy, right? Or height two holy, 165 modifier, but it gets a plus 60% if the target height is a multiple of two. So you're, you may be able to defend against, you know, the multiple levels in terms of, putting yourself at 119, you are not always gonna be able to defend yourself against height two holy or height three holy. Quite often, you probably will not be able to, and she will probably get the entire modifier on this against you. So even if you do manage to have a level 119 character and you manage to dodge level four Araga or her single target 50% spirit penetration uh, job level 25 ability, you're still going to have to contend with height to holy, right? And this kind of puts a wrench in the whole thing. And I'm kind of bummed out about this. I kind of wish Halloween Leela didn't have height to holy. 
and I kind of wish we could mess around a little bit with like level 119 meta. I thought it would be a really fun idea. Like I have been messing with it in my head. I'm like, maybe we get more calculator units. Maybe scholars can get some calculator abilities, you know, but oh, it's just, there's just no way level 119 meta is gonna work. And uh, I wanted it so bad. I wanna watch a tournament and then see a whole bunch of calculators go up against a level 119 team. I wanna see it happen. That six, you know, one sixth, I can't talk. That one six damage reduction would be really cool to see, but it's never gonna happen because there's just way more viable things otherwise that you could do in order to increase your chance of winning against Halloween Leela. For example, like running an ice composition, or running an AOE resist anti-magic composition, right? Leela has no way to penetrate magic resistance. She has spirit penetration. I don't see no magic penetration in her kit. So that's going to be a huge problem for Halloween Leela. So maybe, maybe you'll be running those types of builds instead of trying these jank, really funny level 119 build compositions that I just talked about. But you never know. Maybe one day that will be a thing. Maybe we will go against an opponent who has level four disable or something. And the only way to get past it in PVE is literally to have 119 units. I would love it. I think it would be genius, but it's never gonna happen. Anyway, everybody, sorry for the short video. I just wanted to pick your brain on it because I thought it was a hilarious idea. And it's been something that I've been thinking about all week long. Uh, let me know what you think down in the description down below, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your evening, and I hope you guys are ready for the big announcement tomorrow morning. Uh, see you then, guys.